one more day. Mm. You just have to yeah. hang, stick and it in. Yeah, uh, kind of get hang through in there it. One get more day. through that. Yeah. And, and the plans for today, you know, barring if you're working outside, and I'm really sorry because that's yeah. really tough it's for awful. people. But for people who don't have to go outside, just hang inside. Yeah. Watch some Netflix, take a nap, stay go. cool, hang with your dogs yeah. and cat. Tor, Tor and I were talking about this earlier, how our, I mean, this is like my first really big heat spell with my cat, cat Aries. Right. And I've got two dogs. And it's and kind so. of, she's acting strange. I mean, do you notice your cat acting strange in the heat? Like, oh yeah, oh yeah, like they, they like can't sprawl out wide yeah. enough to right. like kind of be on a cool it's surface. It's got to be on cool floor. she's not sleeping at night because I think she's sleeping like all day. Yeah. yeah. You know, so at night she's up and she's kind of prowling around. It's, you know, she's yeah. out of whack and I'm out of whack because of it. <laughs> we're all on <laughs> set. Feel it. Yeah. I guess we're all yeah. out of whack. <laughs> All right, good morning, everybody. Before we get into the temps, I want to show you the radar real quickly. There are some uh, heavier rain showers and some rumbles of thunder moving into northern Maine crossing the border. There's a cell up near Eustis right now, which is pressing east at about 25, 30 miles per hour. And if it holds together with the heavy rain, the lightning, and maybe a gust of wind, it'll be in the central highlands in about an hour, hour and a half. So we'll keep an eye on that. The radar is going to be very active through the day, so keep an eye to the sky for sure. There your current temperatures around 70. There are your dew points. You know, they came down a little bit yesterday afternoon with that west wind, and they're not as oppressive as they were a couple of days ago, but you can barely notice the difference. We still have the Triple H's. Now this front moves in, and it's going to spark the ongoing thunderstorm threat not only this afternoon, but deep into the evening too. probably up until about 10 o'clock tonight. There'll be some storms in Maine and New Hampshire. Hazy sun, very warm and stuffy. We've got the rain and thunder across the far north, and that kind of sags south through the central highlands just north of Bangor midday. Rest of us, the hazy sun and temps around 90, feeling hotter than that when you factor in humidity. And look at all the action this afternoon and evening. There might be multiple waves that come through. And every time a storm comes through, it will cool you off a little bit, which will be nice, but it may include some damaging wind gusts or some flooding rain. So we do have a pretty big severe weather risk here in New England, especially to our south later on this evening. We'll keep an eye on things. Can't even rule out a small spin up tornado. That's not out of the question, unlikely, but it's still not out of the question. Here's a look at the high 89 for Bangor would come up one degree short of a heat wave. We've had two in a row. If we cut that 89, we're not getting three in a row, but we will in Portland 92. No record set today. However, tomorrow, no records either. Temperatures in the heat, they finally break. We're looking at a high near 80. Most of the day dry until the evening when low pressure forms along that front. And this low is going to scoot through the Gulf of Maine and kind of park itself there for a while, delivering us chilly temperatures and beneficial rain. It looks like we get close to an inch and only minor improvements over time. So Saturday gets a little better, just some scattered showers, a lot of clouds, cool temps. And then Sunday, the 4th, should be a dry day, even a little sunshine in the afternoon with temps around 70. So it's not an awful weekend. It's just not a great one either. Here's the marine forecast from the Weather Service. Water getting close to 60 degrees now. Triple H's storms this afternoon, highs around 90 again. Tomorrow, 80 degrees, the heat breaks, some afternoon and evening showers move in, and they stick with us through Friday. Look at the temps on Friday, only around 65 degrees. Wow. I mean, everyone's going to be drop off. shivering after yeah. what we've been through. Yeah. Our bodies will not be used to that. Gets a little better on Saturday, just a morning shower, then mostly cloudy, and then a decent 4th of July. I don't think there'll be any, you know, viewing problems. We'll be able Good. to see the fireworks. You'll be able to have your parties. You just might be dressed in a layer or two. <laughs> Something well, like that's that. all right. You know, our lake, I was in it yesterday. Yeah. And it's really, it's just gotten to a nice warm place. Is it refreshing still or is it too warm? No, it's still refreshing. Okay, I'm good. a little concerned though with this colder weather. Will the oh, go backward. Yeah, mm. so we'll see. We'll Hopefully see. not. We'll see. <laughs> all right, thank you, Todd. What